Okay. This is a heat gun. As in the name, it produces heat. Therefore, it gets hot. Don't let it meet your skin. Cooking miles. That explain why it stinks so bad in here right now. Yep. So where Kagan is getting the uh, sealant off of those little aluminum key with that thing. Uh, that's where the mouse was dead. Right there. And he's heating things up like that was a good idea. How's that smell? Uh, yeah, not good. So uh, yeah, tell you guys what's going on today. So Kagan is scraping off a little bit of the uh, adhesive. Yeah, these things right here, they're foil back and they got an adhesive. Yeah, he's. <laughs> so these, I don't know if they put these in for sound deadening or what. You they don't, don't work that good now. You don't play them. Yes. So they, they put these in for sound deadening under the carpet or whatever they did, but these need to come out for what we're about to do. So uh, the heat gun and the putty knife works real well, but your putty knife gets coated with stuff, so I have to clean it off later. And then also, there is uh, right here. Let me uh, adjust here a little bit. There we go. I've got about half of this back pad here taken off. I got one off the fender over here, and I got to take this one off still because we want to be able to hit this with our uh, grinding wheel. We're not looking to grind down the bare metal. We're just going to kind of scratch everything up or with a sander or something. So that uh, bed liner. Rough it up. You know. Yeah, so the bed liner sticks real good. It's like that one guy that owes you 15 bucks. You don't want to You don't want to take them out. You just want to rough them up a little bit. <laughs> so we're going to finish getting this off. Probably going to cut these out. I left them in. I thought maybe I'd want to keep them, but I think I'm going to cut them out. What about, the tape? what about the tape around them? Are we going to take the tape off? Yeah, the tape around them comes off. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. That could be holding the entire back end together. It might. The only thing we are going to leave is see this stuff right here. This is kind of the factory sealant for the uh, where the panels went together. We are going to leave that. It's not really a, uh, a soft surface. And we'll sand around it. We're going to leave that and let, let it stick in there. But we've got a bunch of cleaning to do up front there where there's a bunch of rust. And we got two bolts to hopefully try and get out today. So uh, win or fail, you guys are going to see how bad that gets. And uh, we're going to prep everything for the spray-in bed liner today. So today is prep day after we gutted everything. So, And got a few new... Uh, well, at least one new thing we'll show you as we get up front here in a little bit. And hopefully, I with stripping all this down and getting everything out and before we line it, we, we might be able to get the smell out completely. I hope so. He's trying to cook the smell out of it. I don't think that's the way to go. I tell you, it's bad. <laughs> it's better than it was. I found a fuzzball stuck to some of this stuff and I didn't know whether it was just dust or whatever and whenever the heat gun went on to it it kind of shriveled up and I found out real fast this is mouse hair what was left of it yeah so uh not the best smell in the world in case you're wondering we'll set up here and show you guys a few tips and tricks of how to get this stuff out but for these things if you got a heat gun a putty knife it's, it's still messy you can get off just the putty knife but the heat gun does make it a little quicker There's, what we found the real easy way, actually, it's way easier than those full back things. Take the heat gun, put a little heat on it, and your nasty putty knife, but it's still got all the other stuff on it. But once you get some heat soaked in this area, I'll put some back into it. Well, I don't want, I want to get it good and hot. Oh, come on now. It starts to look like a fruit roll-up if you roll it just right, which it's not going to this time. I would suggest eating it. 
Just apply pressure and some heat. Heat the area up. In case you're wondering, guys, it does look like a free roll up, then it just doesn't perform well in camera. Yeah, that's it. Performance anxiety. Look at that. Look there, there, there. Uh, second time's turn. That's it. You get to the end here. Well, it didn't end well, but right there. Here's your. So. We'll finish getting the rest of this off and getting that off and then we'll uh, move on to cleaning the uh, floorboards and uh, we've got a trick on how we're going to uh, keep from dying of dust inhalation <laughs> so yeah spoilers box, box fan spoilers all right all right Kagan, what are you working on all these little plastic I'm assuming they're breathers but taking them out of uh, out of the bottom here because so there was one right here you see that hole right there right there yeah he had one of them there Got another one there there's a couple other ones up there by the uh, front floorboard I think I don't think your front ones are too bad but these back ones were oh, there's, a, there's one right here yeah. I say we pull all of them up. Okay. Pull all of them up and we'll uh, maybe find plugs and stuff that fit them. We'll leave them open. That way we can hose this thing out. Because that's right here, water will lay right here. So that's why if I have to, I can pull everything out of it and just hose it out if it gets bad enough. That'd be a good reason to leave those ones there. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm back here in the uh, cargo area. And uh, I've got a flapper wheel on my grinder. Also have a sanding pad on my mouse sander, which is sitting up there. And uh, I'm taking- You're a testament to how uh, nasty the mouse was. There's a- What? Oh yeah. Yucky. So there is no part about this that is glorious or fun. We're just skinning paint, getting everything prepped. We're like nowhere near close right now. But what we did find was, and this is going to be another step we'll have to take, is that one place, Hagen took a grinder up here with a wire wheel on it, and I've got a place in the floor right there I don't like, right there. He also has a musical spot. Yeah, I got a musical spot. So I'm probably going to cut me a square here and patch this. And I'm going to cut this out and patch this before we uh, coat everything. So uh, now this rubber right here, we'll probably hold this up somehow. And we'll go ahead and coat it and let that lay back down. And then I've got some fitted floor mats that I'm going to buy that will go in here. Because I want to leave that, that rubber matting with the insulation for sound deadening. I don't think it'll hurt much. It's got like a foam backing on it, like that right there. So it's not like the carpet. It'll, it'll uh, kind of let moisture out some into the floorboard. Not that I plan on having this thing hosed in there a little bit. So Yeah, and this piece right here, this piece is what the original um, center console was mounted to. So we're going to chuck it because it's obviously broken. To anybody who owns a Cherokee, they know that these things break and your center console gets all wobbly and yada yada. So uh, it's in a trash can now. And I have this dude. It's all metal. I'm going to put it in. Hopefully get my center console to stay still. So uh, oops, put that back down over without dropping everything. So yep, we are still at it. Trying to get some of the worst spots. Sanding some of the smoother spots, like right in here. That'll go quick. Fender wheels will go quick. Gotta get some of this junk off here. Kagan's taking care of some of the spots on the floor that look the worst up there. And then I'll take a welder and go through it. I'm gonna tack these right here. I've got a gouge right there. And we're just gonna assess certain parts of it and prep everything for lining. So, when Kagan was taking the seats out of this thing, he whoa, broke some bulbs. Whoa, 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 whoa. See how that worked? Yeah. 
Now I was afraid it was going to happen. There's, there's two smaller bolts, uh, one on each seat that goes in the floor here. I and, don't uh, know why you wouldn't just double stud it. I don't know why you'd have to have one stud and a quarter inch bolt. It'd be alright. So what I'm going to do is, is take this nut and lay over the broken bolt. Now we let them, I put some penetrating oil around this, what was stuck in here. Hold on. Let's walk Hold around. See what's going on. See the eye. There's a broken bolt right there. I'm going to set that nut over top of it. I'm going to take this welder and I'm going to bury welding wire down in it and get that nut to where it's basically the head of the bolt again. And then that heat, if I hit it directly afterwards, I'm hoping that heat will bring that out of there. Now guys, this may not work. It doesn't always work. I'll show you the one on this side. That on that side should be easy. I'm a little worried about this Sorry, side. Sorry guys. I'm going to do that first. It's hard to move around in here. There's yeah. a little bit more stud sticking out over there than there is over here. So throw that bolt down on there and fill it in. Make sure the weld's good and solid. And so, uh, without further ado. Uh oh, our ground's not good, evidently. Nope. Well, the weld's help us dirty. We seem Technical to difficulties. Ready? Yep. Ooh, that looks warm. Might give that just a second or it's not quite so yellow. Or not. Uh, that should be good. What? That, that's warm. Hey Adam, that's hot. <laughs> so now, let me get a pair of pliers. Okay, now let me come around there and give you guys a closer look. So, as you can see, it's a little offset, so my nut wasn't down on there just exactly right. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Still done the job. But I welded that nut to the bolt that was broke off in the floor and uh, took an impact and hit it while it was still good and hot. So, that right there is a trick to getting broken bolts out. It doesn't always work. So, also, another key is. You have to hit it while it's hot, but you, it cannot be red. Yeah, if it's red, it'll just twist off because it's still too hot. But so let's go ahead, since we got everything hooked up, and try the other side. They say fix it with fire, right? And here we go. Hey, she's hot. Look at that. Sounds like we have company. Yep. And that's getting... One of our biggest fans. Let's see here. Pretty good right there, huh, Kagan? Yeah. Okay. Oh, one of your biggest fans. You said nobody likes you, Kagan? Ta-da! Sometimes I feel underappreciated. Hey, I don't know where those whelpers are, but they're not there. So, Sorry, guys. Right there, bolt number two. A little bit offset once again, but you know what? I no longer have broken bolts on the floorboard. So, we'll find new bolts to replace those. Call today. Well, Kagan's rolling up our extension cords we're picking up. I have to go do a side job. Kagan's got to go to work. I'll show you where we're at. So, we took a lot of rust up and got all those sticky pads up today. Still got some heat that we got to get rid of in this area. We did get the bolts out. Um, we picked a few places over there that I got a patch. I got one spot. Let me move around here. We got one spot over here that I'm going to have to patch right there. Got a little hole in it. 
set but i'm going to take these holes here where the tire mount used to go and i'm going to kind of and these holes here where the uh, luggage hooks used to go come on kind of spot weld all those get those all sealed up um, but for the most part the back cargo area it's pretty well done i got a few things i'm going to tidy up back here but uh this is just about done. So we've got this area done. We got that kind of prep. We got to get the bolts out today. And uh, got all the plastic off there, except for the two pieces that are up under the dash there and there for the hood latch and the fuse box. We'll end up pulling those for it's all said and done. And we may pull the headliner too. As far as uh, prepping the floor for uh, the rest of the stuff, we might show some welding clips in another part of the video. We might do the headliner. This is obviously going to be a multi-stage deal here with the Jeep just because there's and that's something that uh, I do want to talk to you guys about so you get set up here there we go and like that you guys are now on the camera stand so we could very easily take hits and clips of what we're doing bundle it all in one video like the big shows do and pretend like we all done this in an afternoon it don't work like that um does it kagan well no i mean you guys would notice their changes of clothes you probably notice the fact that you know, kagan would have to eat it. multiple times yeah that one wouldn't be that unbelievable but so what I'm getting at is, is this is, uh, you know, we're very realistic. We try to work on it every weekend. We have a bunch of other stuff going on. So we're gonna put out videos. We're gonna show you guys kind of the extent of what we're getting accomplished every time we come to the garage. Which, sometimes it's not a lot. Yeah, and to you guys, it might look like that we didn't get a lot done today, but this stuff right here was kind of a bear. Um, you couldn't smell it. <laughs> Kagan keeps saying that. It does. The Jeep does smell better already, though. I keep saying that, too. I keep saying the same thing. I mean, now it smells like his metal shavings and... Grinding dust. Yeah. And, so, but, yeah. It does smell a lot better than a mouse. Yeah. Well, we're getting there, though. Uh, so, the next time we're here, we'll keep prepping the floor. We're not going to show you guys any more floor prep, other than maybe the finished product before we start spraying. But we, we might do some uh, weld patching where we patch floor. Maybe another money shot of... Yeah, like a weld patch. Nah. Might just do headliner or something. Yeah. Or the next time you guys see this, it might just be... Depending on what happens, what parts we get between now and then. But, anyways. So what color do you think you want the headliner? Royal purple. What do you think? Can it say crown royal on it? Yeah. Get the felt? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this video. We appreciate it. And, uh... I know this one wasn't super interesting because it doesn't, it's not fun. It's just not fun. Hopefully the spraying in the bed liner part will be fun though. That's the part I'm excited about. So uh, we'll see how that all ends up and keep in mind, we've never done this before so we're learning as we do this too. What are you talking about? I put bed liner in my truck. Yeah, it's not the same as stripping out the inside of a Jeep. No, but. And you rolled it on real spray. I didn't roll it on. Use paintbrush. Okay. I Bob Rossed it. He likes that. So guys, thanks for watching subscribe button down there if you feel like helping us out somewhere somewhere there yeah. kagan really appreciates it and uh go to our social media hook up with us we got a wrench benders group on facebook you can come join show us what you're working on we want to know i love looking at other people's projects we really do i mean I'm, i might steal an idea or two he definitely will steal an idea or two so but yeah Check us out on our other social medias. Yeah, I mean, we got TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. We're not as popular on the Instagram. Go go make awful comments about Kagan. Yeah. He likes it. It is what it is. Or myself. But thanks, guys. Appreciate it. See you later. See you guys.